Pisces, how you doing? You're going to be doing your reading here uh, for end of September. Hope you guys are doing well. And let's get into it. General read here, so just take what resonates. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for Pisces. What messages do we have here for Pisces? First card out is the sun. I'll be reading intuitively. Cards will be in the upright here. Let's see your challenge. The five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see the recent past here. We do have the Ace of Cups, your focus for Pisces, the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. Let's see the possibilities here. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Swords is just clarity. There's something here coming towards you. Could be some truth as well, because I see the Six of Swords. Near future, we do have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Let's see. Your power, Pisces, what's going on in your power? You have the Seven of Wands. Fire energy here. So it does pick up that you guys may have, um, you're in an energy of just not really taking any sort of negativity. Of, I mean, you normally really do that, but I feel like you really found out people around you that were, were not really good for you. And I think we started cutting that off. Let's see your environment here. We have the Ten of Swords, and that you can see her, she's, walking away from any sort of betrayal or anything that has happened, right? So I feel like you guys are walking away from past situations here that have held you back or hurt you in some way here. Let's see your hopes and fears. Hopes and fears here for Pisces. We do have the Knight of Cups. That's just wanting, you know, maybe there's an energy here of you wanting a new connection or just meeting someone new. Let's see the opportunity, uh, the outcome. Let's see the outcome here for Pisces. We do have judgment. It is an awakening here for you. Um, a decision. Um, let's see. The Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Overall, Page of Cups. Okay. So let's start off here. Because the Eight of Swords is an energy of um, feeling restricted. Feeling like you want to move forward, but you're unable to. Um, or maybe there's a decision or maybe something to do with your finances. Whatever it is here. There's a decision that you want to make, but you feel like it's not the right decision or some, some sort of direction here that you're unsure about. Now, the beginning of the reading here, we start off with the sun. It is Leo energy. Now, the sun is about happiness, childlike energy, maybe needing to go have fun. And maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe you want to free yourself from burdens or things that have been restricting you. And you just want to enjoy life a little bit more. You want, to, you want things to slow down, really enjoy the people around you, uh, and, and just take some time out for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, not because I feel like a lot of us move in a, in a pace of things are just moving really fast and we just before you know it it's like you know work days Monday through Friday and all of a sudden the weekend flies by and then it just cycles over so there's an energy here about wanting things to slow down and just enjoy the little things here now with the five of pentacles crossing you there's a sense of somebody wanting some sort of new opportunity or maybe you've been waiting for something to come towards you and there's a sense of losing a hope in something so maybe this is involving a connection uh, maybe this is a work situation. Maybe it's something to do with finances, but there's a little bit of giving up here. All right. So nothing too bad. I just feel like it's a challenge. And why it's a challenge is because if you start thinking in a point of, uh, you know, that opportunity is not there for you or this is not coming for you, you start manifesting that. So you want to get out of that way of thinking here. OK, now your recent past, you do have the Ace of Cups, and this is you working on yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have been you may have met someone new as well, but um, I feel like a lot of you guys have been working on yourself and really just, you know, taking care of your health and things like that. I think that's been the focus here for you in the recent past. I feel like there's an awakening or some sort of, um, you know, an energy of you realizing that maybe you've been putting so much into a certain situation where you kind of forget about yourself here. So there's an energy here of you focusing on you. Now your focus though is the Six of Swords. This is movement forward here. This is movement in a different direction. Or at least you wanting to move towards that direction here. With the Ace of Swords, there is some sort of clarity or truth coming towards you. So maybe this is a friend or someone here that you've known coming towards you with some sort of communication. For some of you guys, not going to be for everyone. But there is someone coming towards you here with a, a conversation of some sort. So maybe this is an ex or maybe someone here. Somebody here from the past is coming back around. Uh, for others of you, it feels like you're just moving forward and wanting clarity into something new. Now, the King of Wands is sitting over here. 
in your near future, okay? The king of wands is an energy of, um, you know, like a visionary, an entrepreneur. So maybe you want to start a new job, maybe something else you want to focus on here, right? So you're getting into this energy of wanting to create and wanting to really put some work, some, some groundwork here, right? That's why your power, your feelings here is the seven of wands. This is you making plans, you know, really trying to focus on getting things in order. But, you know, in order to get things done here, all these wands want to communicate with you. They want to either give their opinion on something, whatever it is here, you're really blocking them, blocking these people out of your situation right now. Now with the 10 of swords, again, your environment, you're choosing to let go of something. You're choosing to finally like let go without um, receiving any communication. You're really just accepting things for what they are and you're moving forward. Knight of Cups, though, you still have in your mind of a connection for some of you guys, but all, a lot of you guys are wanting a, just a new connection here, right? So you're making some sort of decision to, to change something here. But let's see the judgment, because that is your outcome. We get more information on judgment here. We have the Eight of Swords coming out again. It's like you're just choosing to get out of this restriction type of energy. You're just kind of, you're done with... You're done with waiting for things to come together. You're like taking taking charge here to make things happen. You know what I mean? You have one more card there. The Ten of Wands. See, releasing burdens here. Ten is endings. Um, and also Ten of Wands is, is also realizing that you're letting go of things you can't really control anymore. You're just kind of like, you're putting more stress on yourself. And I, th I feel like you're realizing that and moving towards your independence. Nine of, nine of Pentacles energy here, okay? Um, let me see this Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles blocking Pisces here? Why is the Five of Pentacles blocking Pisces? We do have the Nine of Pentacles. So we know that you want to move towards financial independence or just work on your stability and finances here. Let me get one more card on that. We have a tower. Interesting. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's a realization that... Um, and you have the Queen of Pentacles underneath. There's something to do with finances for some of you guys here. There's a big blockage with finances. Um, Nine of Pentacles with the Tower and the Queen of Pentacles. Let me see the Tower here. We have the Fool. It may be. For some of you guys, it's not going to be for everyone, okay? Um, you guys might be shifting, like leaving a job and going towards another job or getting an opportunity for... A new job there's something here about finances so either you've been investing in something here and it hasn't been working out there is some sort of reality or wake up or enlightenment moment here that you get where you kind of move in a different direction so that kind of explains the six of swords and the ace of swords because there is some sort of clarity coming in obviously it's going to be different for a lot but it does involve your your foundation your stability your finances here okay so it doesn't feel like you know you're going to get fired or anything like that it doesn't feel like that i feel like you are making a decision here to move in a different direction here something just has not been working out for you it could be an energy where you've been putting into something for so long and you are just you're put you're like the one putting into it and the other person or the other situation if it's a company they're not really giving back towards you and it's like you you see yourself it's like if it's a work situation you're wearing different hats and, and you're not seeing the finances behind that right so it's it's like they Whoever it is is expecting more and more from you, but you're realizing that it's less and less that they're giving to you. And it's a tower for you because you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm, you, I know my worth here, right? You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very, you know, this is an energy that is very nurturing and giving regardless, you know, the gender here is just, you're trying to make things happen here. You have a good heart. You're just trying to get things going. You're starting to realize that people have been taking advantage of you. This is, this is why it's getting into the Seven of Wands energy. I don't feel like you're trying to cause any issues. I, I just, it's a, a very silent type of movement forward with that Six of Swords here, okay? I know the Seven of Swords could be silent movement forward, but the Six of Swords here, it's like there's a little bit of disappointment in the situation and you're just like, I just, you don't even have energy to deal with it. Um, let's see this Ace of Swords then. Because there is some sort of truth or realization here, especially with that tower there. You have the Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy here. There must have been some sort of date. You've been thinking of something. Oh, look at this. The Ace of Wands right after that. You've been thinking of something here. All right. With that Page of Cups energy, a lot of daydreaming. There's something here that you've been wanting to pursue. And I feel like you're moving towards that. It doesn't mean you have to leave a job to go 
to something else. It just means that you're starting to put more energy into some sort of passion here, something that you've been wanting to do here. So your energy is shifting towards something that makes you happy, if that makes sense here. Okay, so let's see the Knight of Cups here. I do feel like there's a new connection on your mind. We have the Six of Pentacles. Get one more card on that. And the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a new connection there for you, Pisces. We do have the Moon underneath here. Your energy, Cancer energy here. So with the Wheel of Fortune, there is an unexpected lucky break here for you in regards to your finances, also in regards to connections. So if you've been leaving, if you're leaving a connection or getting over a connection, there's definitely a new person there for you. Another water energy here could be Taurus or Virgo Capricorn, but uh, this is a very equal give and take relationship. I was just mentioning things were off balance here for you. You were putting in too much. You weren't getting anything back. And it's like you're being put in a situation here where things are equal give and take. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the energy that you're shifting yourself into because you're walking away and it's really releasing yourself from restriction here. It could be that you went within, especially during that Pisces full moon that we had. Um, you know, things have opened up and it takes some time to really realize what you want here. And uh, whoever this resonates with has made a decision uh, for themselves. You know, just that Nine of Pentacles energy being very independent for, for you and your family, whoever, you know, you're with here. You're making decisions that's benefiting you and your, um, your situation here. Okay, so you can get out of this Five of Pentacles energy. So that's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. Um, looking pretty good. I mean, there is definitely new opportunity, someone someone that you'll be happy with or a situation that you're going to be very happy with. But uh, this, you breaking away from restrictions and moving towards a different direction, it's like you get some sort of news or enlightenment or some sort of wake up here. Um, like I said, awakening here is what I'm getting in your reading. All right. So that is what I see. Let me get you guys a oracle here. We'll use a Divine Animals Oracle, and then we will close it out. I'm going to try to, I'm adjusting a little bit on my, my lighting here, so bear with me. It's going to get better. I'm just playing around with it, but the more I got into it, I just said, I'm not going to be able to get the water, water signs out. So I said, let me stop. Let me get this set up for now, and then I'm trying to use the, because um, I need to see, you know, what I'm doing, which is weird, because like I'm right here, but I, I want to make sure the camera's kind of, looking at the cards when I pull it up, but I want to use the other side so I can get an HD a little bit more clear for you guys, you know? So anyway, I will figure that out very soon. And um, see what Oracle we got here for you. We do have dog, which is means companionship here. Let me see, that is number 41. Okay. Might be a little bit of a glare here let's see okay so um like i said it means companionship it says be a firm and ethical friend seek loyalty and honesty in your friendships our friendships should be supportive not competitive there's a difference between solitude and loneliness something hidden will be illuminated we all have aspects of ourselves that we do not appreciate or like learn to change these things if they do not benefit us or lovingly accept them, accept them, okay? So that is gonna be your Oracle. Pisces, if this did resonate for anyone, please do hit that like, and until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.